camp, and I'm one of the organizers of the show that we started 15 years ago. Uh, I've been at the Country Cupboard here every year since then, except for last year when the pandemic closed us. Um, one of the things that's unique about our show is that as a juried show, we try to bring in artisans that are high quality, do, do artistic work, and that is also historically accurate and, and carefully made. So we try to put as many customers in front of artisans that do that as we possibly can. Over the last few years, our show has uh, been very successful in, in drawing between 1,500 and 2,000 visitors a year. So it's, it's been a really neat, pleasant, pleasurable run to have the show here at the Cover Cover. Formed in 1933, the National Muzzle Loading Rifle Association was an attempt to draw together all of the muzzle loading clubs throughout the United States. Now, when you think of muzzle loading, everybody thinks of Davy Crockett or Daniel Boone, and they think of the westward migration of fur trappers and later settlers. But really, muzzle loading has never died out in this country. Its history extends from the beginning of the founding of the country, and even before we were the United States, up into the present. It's always been a form of recreation as well as a form of hunting. Today we have collectors, we have museums, we have experts throughout the country, including at the Smithsonian Institute. National Muzzle Loading Rifle Association serves as a clearinghouse for that. One of our newest endeavors that we're doing is the Gun Makers Fair at Kempton. It's held the last weekend in July and it will bring together hundreds if not thousands of muzzleloaders from across the United States at a little town in southeastern Pennsylvania, Kempton. The map that we have here at the table basically displays the geography and, and the area from Route 78 north for approximately five miles to the location. And there we're going to find handmade rifles and all the accoutrements, which means the support equipment necessary for shooting black powder. Black powder is a form of entertainment. You'll see it at every state and national park that you go to as they do the living history. It serves as a means of hunting white-tailed deer, bear, elk. It serves as a form of entertainment on Sundays when people get together and just have frolics or black powder shoots in order to see who's the best shot. Uh, it might be a meat shoot in which people take home bacon or chicken or turkey. Um, it's also a sport in which there are national championships at Friendship Indiana each year. So to try and capture everything that the National Muzzle Loading Rifle Association does takes a lot of work. Subscribe to Muzzle Blast magazine at nmlra.org and come find out what we're all about. Thank you for being here today. Hey, this is Chris from the HCH. We're a nonprofit educational organization that focuses on the, uh, the research, the preservation, and the education of hornwork. It's an ancient craft and how we can, can get it into our contemporary society. We are doing lots of things this year. It's our 25th anniversary, so we'd like to invite everyone to come out. We're going to be at the Altoona Grand Hotel, March 4th and 5th. If you go to our website, horngill.org, you can find all the information on the event. There will be live demonstrations, hands-on work being done. We have oral presentations, display tables, any of the supplies you might need, and lots of people to talk to and get any answers to the questions you may have. So everyone's welcome. Uh, it doesn't matter what your skill level is. You are definitely welcome to join the Guild. If you have any questions, you can check us out on hornguild.org or we're on Facebook at the Horners Guild. Oh, sorry, uh, Honorable Company of Horners. Thank you. Um, the CLA started in 1996 with our first annual show in Cincinnati, Ohio. Our mission is to promote the long rifle culture yesterday, today, and tomorrow. 
our goal is to keep more grateful culture in the forefront of America. Currently, we have 1,800 members with our membership growing daily. Our show is at the Central Bank Center in Lexington, Kentucky every August. Be sure to visit our website to learn more about our organization. So right here is Dixon's Table. They're a table, or they're a gun store in Kempton, Pennsylvania. Great shop if you're in the area, check them out. Um, great shop, they do a lot for the community. Over there is Dave Keck with Knob Mountain Muzzleloading. If you need stock work or gun parts, he's the one to talk to. And here is rice barrels. They make the best barrels. They shoot great. I have a couple of them. They're tack drivers. Mm. So there's some antique rifling machines. Kind of neat.
Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe for more great content, and check out our Instagram page at, at Squirrel Tail Show.